Hi, on today's Tunisian Tuesday, <clears throat> we are going to do a Tunisian simple stitch cross stitch. <coughs> this can sometimes be called the crossover stitch, um, and there are two variants to doing it. Both you need to have even numbered um, stitches. So uh, let's get started with it. All right, the first one I have done, I've chained 10 and picked up those stitches for the foundation row. And the next, um, for the crossover stitch, you're going to skip this first bar here, go into this second bar, pick up a stitch. Now you want to keep it pretty loose because you're crossing over. Then you will go back to the stitch you skipped and pick up a stitch. Remember to keep them loose. Skip this stitch, go to the next, pull up a loop, keep it loose, go into the one you skipped, pull up a loop, get some more yarn here. Now we're going to skip this bar again, go into this next bar, pull up a loop, and then we'll Again, pick up the one that we skipped. Same thing here, skip this stitch, go into the next, pull up a loop, then pull up a loop for the one that we skipped. And then in those last two, we'll go through the two like we normally do for that nice neat edge and pull up a loop. Now the return pass is the same, it's normal pass which is chain one, yarn over, pull through two, 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 and you'll do that all the way to the end. Now in this first one, you're going to continue if you choose this one pattern, you're going to continue by skipping the first, going into the second, pulling up a loop, then going into that loop you skipped, pull up a loop, again skip the next bar, go into that one, pull up a loop, then go back to that bar you skipped, pull up a loop, skip the next, pull up a loop, go into the one you skipped, pull up a loop, skip the next, pull up a loop, go back into that one you skipped, pull up that loop, and then go into the last two like normal, return passes as normal, chain one, then yarn over, pull through two, and you can repeat this pattern for as long as your project is, whatever you choose. And what you're going to see is you have that nice little bit of a cross stitch. There makes a different little pattern to it. Um, the back is unremarkable. Now, there is a second way to do this, and what it does is it offsets those cross stitches just by a little bit. And basically what you do is you go into that next stitch and do a Tunisian simple stitch, pull up a loop. Then you'll skip the next stitch, go into this next stitch, pull up a loop. Okay, so um, battery died, so I changed the battery. So you want to go back into that one you skipped, pull up a loop. Skip the next, pull up a loop, go into the one you skipped, pull up a loop, and these are all Tunisian simple stitches. Again, go into the one you skipped, pull up a loop. Now you skip one, then pull up a loop, and then go back into the one that you've skipped, pull up a loop. And then we've got this last two stitches. Um, you can't cross over, so you'll just do a Tunisian simple stitch, and then you'll go into the last two bars like normal. Of course, your return passes as normal, chain one, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way across to the end. Now for this staggered cross stitch, you're actually going to do two rows. And um, so here is the first row that you would repeat because we're going to repeat that a little bit. Um, you would skip this stitch, go into this next one, pull up a loop, come back into the stitch you skipped, pull up a loop, then skip the next, pull up a loop, go into the one you skipped, pull up that loop, skip this next, Tunisian and simple stitch in the next stitch, pull up a loop, then go back and pick up the one that you skipped, Excuse me. Sneezy, sneezy. Then again, you're going to skip the next stitch, pull up a loop, then go back and pick up that stitch that you missed, pull up the loop, then go through the last two and pull up a loop. Turn past, chain one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way across. Now, you need to, for this one pattern, is you do need to follow what you did before, which the second row would be Tunisian simple stitch in the next stitch, then skip the next stitch, Tunisian simple stitch, pull up a loop, then go back and pick up that one you skipped, pull up a loop, skip the next stitch, Tunisian simple in this next one, then go back, started to yarn over. Go back, Tunisian simple stitch in the stitch you skipped, pull up a loop, skip the next, Tunisian simple stitch in that, then go back, pick up that stitch you skipped, Tunisian simple stitch, and then again we've got to the end here where we've got two stitches left, so we're going to do a Tunisian simple stitch in this one followed by going through both those on the end for the neat close. And get some more yarn here. And then you would do your normal return pass, which is chain one. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you would repeat that all the way across to the end. Um, I hope you can see how one offsets the other by a little bit. Down here, these three rows, I did the Tunisian cross um, stitches all the way across. And then these rows here, I have offset them a little bit each time. It, they both make a great pattern. Um, it's very interesting to see how they work out. But um, this is a great stitch to use, you know, for anything that you want to give a little bit of texture to. It adds a different texture. Um, I've even done projects where I've done a lot of the first cross stitch, you know, maybe 20 rows of it, and then done 10 of the offset um, just to get a different texture, then gone back to the first one where it is. Um, the same row repeat over and over. Um, the second one is you do one row um, the same as you would normally, which would be skipping that first bar and then going into the next, pulling up a stitch, coming back, picking up the stitch. And then the following row you would start, it's two row repeat for that second one. Um, and that second row would be Tunisian simple stitch in your first bar, then skip the next bar, pull up your stitch in this very next one, and then go back and pick up the stitch that you skipped. Um, it adds a nice bit of texture, um, a very interesting look, and um, yeah, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this stitch. Hope you guys will give it a try um, for scarves, for Yes, you can even do hats in it. Um, 
And I know a lot of people, when they do Tunisian, will just make um, like a rectangle or a square for the hat. Um, you can do it in the round. It's a little, little bit more finicky in the round, but it can be done in the round as well. And um, we may adventure out into doing some Tunisian projects in the round in the future. So um, I hope you're enjoying that, like I said, and I will see you again next week. Bye.